Hey, it's Allie Edwards, and welcome to day 12 of December Daily. I am thinking about mixing it up today, which is one of the things that happens as the month goes along. If you took my Product Play 2 workshop, December Daily Product Play 2, I created this um, really cool tree, embellishment tree here. And what I want to do is, I actually, the story that I want to tell today is about Elliot because it's his 12th birthday. And so I printed out a photo of him from when we were in New York uh, at 5x7. And the reason why I printed this 5x7 is because I'm waiting for the rest of my photo paper to come in. That's the only reason why I did I didn't have any other sizes of photo paper. Um, so we work with what we have, right? So I want to pair this photo of him with the part that is going to be the back of day 11 and if you didn't see the video for day 11 I um, in the in the blog post for that I I provided a silhouette die cut file as well as a PNG of this and, and a PNG of the reverse heart so that you could have something on the back if you did the printed vellum like I did with a photo so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna remove the 12 from here and I'm gonna use this for my day 13 so we're gonna see how this works this isn't ideal, obviously, um, but it is what I want to do. So let's see if we can just pull this, gently pull this off, and then I'm gonna use the 12 on this picture of Elliot, and I'm gonna put the 13 right onto this one right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that um, right now, and then I'll have this one ready for tomorrow. Um, Get that set right here because it's going to fit right in the same spot. So this is a good reminder too, you know, sometimes I put dates on in advance or, or numbers on in advance because it can either be the date or it can be a story number, it's really up to you. Um, but being able to move them around uh, is is uh, is nice as well. And I could have made it work with, work with the tree, I actually tried a few different things off camera. I tried like printing the picture of him in the shape of a triangle and having some sort of a flip up thing, something like that, but it just really didn't work with what I wanted for him specifically. So what I'm going to do is his birthday is actually 12-12 and, turn, and he turned 12, which is what they call I think a golden birthday. And so I'm going to put just the big 12 right on here right on top of this 5x7 photo. And if you didn't know, if you have the PictureMate PM400, which is one of my favorite little printers, that one um, you can print uh, 5x7 on there too, which is really cool. I'm actually gonna use two of the same um, gold brads that I used yesterday. These were from Michaels, but I linked to uh, something similar. Let's see if I can find my piercer here. So I'm just gonna do a little star on each side of the 12. Add in a star, Brad. And then I'm gonna write a little story over here on top of the heart. I'm pretty sure that I'm gonna handwrite something. Um, that's my initial plan. And we actually have um, two December birthdays here. So Elliot's birthday was the 12th. And then Audrey's birthday is this weekend on the 15th. So lots of December birthdays um, happening around here. And let's see, just pull those feet down. I just only have one. I think the this Brad, let's see. They just stuck together. There we go. Yeah, there's two. Okay, so and I'm, I'm going to punch holes in here with my hole punch. And 5x7 is great because it still fits in all six holes, you know, it doesn't have to fit in all six holes, but it does, which is nice. Try to kind of find the middle space for that, or close enough as the case may be. Oh. 
Okay, and then that goes right in there. I also think um, that I'm going to add an index tab, one of the Avery index tabs along the edge there. Let's see, let's pull one of those out of my drawer here. Yeah, I was gonna look and see, um, I think I have a birthday, maybe a birthday stamp or something about celebrating. Um, oh look, in my stamp stash here in a second. So I think we're gonna just add that on right there. So with the heart over there, there's a couple different things that could be done. Because I've given you guys the digital file, uh, you could type on there and I may end up doing that too. I'm thinking I'm gonna handwrite something on there. Um, I haven't decided yet. Uh, I might handwrite. I did, some of you guys remember, might remember last year when I did the half circle, when I hand wrote a half circle and I made it black with white type on the computer. I'm kind of thinking about that for this too and I may end up doing that. Um, and in that case, what I do is I will trace this heart onto just a piece of white paper and then I scan, I scan things like this in, let's see, let's just do something like this. I'm gonna, I would draw it first and then I would hand write it and then I can scan it in and trace it and I use a program called Illustrator for that. There's lots of different ways that you could make this happen. Um, and then you can print it out, print it black. I'm just using this as a template. Um, print it out black with white type. So I'm thinking of writing in here. And I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go do that off camera because it's easier for me to um, do that when I'm not talking at the same time. And then I'll jump back on here and show you what this ends up looking like. Okay, so here's what I ended up with. Just a sweet little note to him, like a happy birthday note. Um, and I think that this is just fine for a story in here. I know sometimes people are like, oh, Christmas every day, but for most people it's not Christmas every day in December. And so I tell a variety of stories, like you're seeing Book Club. And um, this one is just kind of recognition of what a great kid he is and how much I am enjoying having him in my life and that I get to be a part of his life. So I'm gonna go ahead and just use this, the original one as the template to cut it out. Like I said, I did, I made it the reverse color um, after I scanned it in, in, in Illustrator, which is not complicated, but if you've never done something like that before, it definitely is, um, you know, it's how I scan in all of my all of my stuff. You can also do the same kind of thing like on your on your iPad if you have a program like Procreate, um, you know, the pen, using a pen and tablet with that is also possible. I, I guess I'm kind of old school still right now in that I still scan everything in. Um, that's just, that's just what I'm doing. So let's get this on here. I spent a bunch of time printing out photos yesterday, which is why I ran out of photo paper, um, for my for days five through nine, and so I hope to be able to share that really soon. I'm almost done um, putting that together. I need to adhere everything down and figure out how I'm going to keep it all together. It's a little, definitely a thick, um, it's definitely thick with the photos and other things that I added in there, but I'm excited to show you guys that too. So that'll probably be in the next couple of days I'll be able to post that. So this is going to be close enough to what that other heart was. And you'll probably just see a little bit of it here on the back. I'll try to make get it right in the spot where it's just leaving a little bit of a, of a frame there. Okay, so let's adhere that down and then I'm going to add something into the um, add something into the index tab there okay so adhesive and when I adhere this I think I want to be able to move it around a little bit so let's see Yeah. 
That looks okay. So you just see a little bit of it on the other side. Let's fix that. Actually, I'm gonna put a little more adhesive on the back of this one. Okay. All right, so that is fun. All right, so let's see. I'm gonna look through my stamps and see what I have. I know I have a birthday stamp someplace. I'm gonna see if I have something that'll fit small into that space. All right, so I didn't find a birthday specific one, but I did find, um, this is from a Brave stamp set. Um, and there's one that just says, I believe in you. And I thought that would be a, a good one to put on here. Just kind of having those encouragement sentiments. So we're gonna put that on this side and then I'll probably put something else on the other side tomorrow, depending on um, what that next story is. And I'm gonna call this one good, I think, um, for story number 12, day 12. Fun. All right. There you go. Hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you back here again tomorrow.